Yeah, I'm Stefan Eichinger. My artist name is Lopez. I was a Cuban drug dealer, but then I realized that uh, life is way too tough, so I decided to, no, just kidding, of course. Uh, I was born in a yeah, German family with like worker roots, so there was not a lot of money involved. It was a um, pretty normal life. But uh, it was a musical background, so I had a chance to learn flute, which I hated in the beginning. And then guitar and a little bit of drums, and I had bands I worked with. And uh, then I, I realized that just making music is not enough. I wanted to be part of the production and the writing process. So I started to record bands with my... I had a little uh, tape machine, one is still here. And then it's, you know, it starts, you meet people, you, you uh, release records. People like it, people hate it, people talk about it. And then in the end I had Inedia, that was in 2003, and um, yeah, from that moment on everything changed. say yeah about analog and digital no if you're if you know what you want to do and if you know how to do it if you have your style and your technique you can do it with a computer only but as I'm a really old elephant you know I need knobs yeah, here you can see a teletronics it's, it's an opto compressor pretty old school and uh, yeah, I mean the LA-2A can be adjusted by a, a baby because it only has two knobs and uh, adjustment from limiter compressor. I love it. It's a classic. It works on bass, on vocals. If you want to add some more sparkles, it's better to do this with analog equipment instead of digital plugins. But if I want to push the highs or the crispiness of a track, I try to do it with uh, analog gear. If it's a, a Paltec analog tube style, which is very soft and very gentle or you want to do it with 90s or 2015 equipment doesn't matter but pushing highs making it crispier is much better to be done with analog equipment than with uh, plugins I always try to be commercial because I mean I don't have uh, uh, a lot of money in the background and so I had to work my ass off you know I had to go my own way and um, so we always wanted to be commercial but with uh, a different kind of attitude we wanted to do something special nowadays electronic music is everywhere it's in the, in the TV it's in commercials in every party but when we started in the beginning uh, of the 90s it was still something special it was Maybe that's what you are talking about, underground, you know. Um, but yeah, we never felt that way. We just wanted to be different and uh, wanted to do something that is not there everywhere. And um, so, yeah, but yeah, we always wanted to have success, of course. Mm -hmm. 